Hi, Hi everyone. everyone! Welcome back to our video with Wonderful Boys and today we're still in Bangkok. We're actually in W Bangkok. Yep. So if you recognize this glove, it's actually quite an iconic kind of um, thing that they have it in W Bangkok. So this hotel is actually located in um, Southern area. Um, nearest MRT or BTS station is actually uh, the two stations. One is St. Louis and one is called Chong Non Si. I think it's about 5-10 minutes walk away. It's not too far. But of course, um, this area because it's a CBD area, so getting a cab is actually not a problem. Nah. Mm -hmm. And food wise, shouldn't be a problem as well. So there's, I think there's a nearest mall. Yep. There's actually a fitness first over there. Also near to some proper lamp, uh, popular landmark is actually Unomori Spa. Um, if you know, there's another tall building where people walk on a glass. That's actually the King Power Mana Hakon uh, Tower. It's just nearby as well. Yeah. Yep. So the room category that we got today is? is a studio suite. So this suite is the lead-in suite category in this property. And it measures about 64 square meters in floor size. So it's quite decently sized. It doesn't have a separate living space. It's a combined living space with the bedroom. But the toilet is pretty large, it's at the back, right behind us actually. And uh, it is, uh, I think, quite nice. It's quite quite trendy kind of hotel. So yeah, we're, we're going to get to see the, uh, the room a bit later. And of course, we're going to show you the facilities if the time and weather permits, like the fit, which is the fitness center, this 24 hours, and also the wet, which is the pool deck. Um, that might be, it's quite nice actually. So yeah, we'll stay tuned for that. Mm. And we're also going to show you the breakfast, uh, the kitchen table uh, tomorrow. Mm. So if you're new here and yet to subscribe, please help us click below. Yep, just below. Okay, yep, and click uh, turn on the notification bell as well mm -hmm. if you have not yet turned on, yeah. so you'll be notified when we have new videos out. Mm -hmm. Okay, so without further ado, shall we check out the room? Yep, let's, let's go. go. Hi, welcome to the studio suite. So this is the lead-in category for all the suite. Um, it's the lowest of the suite and it's about 64 square meters. Once you come in here, it's a very basic uh, entryway. So there's nothing much here. So just um, put a card key here, okay? And moving past this area, okay, this whole um, main living room area or combined with the bed area, okay, on the right side here, all your left, is where you find the wardrobe. Okay, basic amenities like the bathrobe, um, ironing board and all that and so they pull out safe okay over here yep okay and also they have a, something very cute which is this bag here it's a backup plan so um it's actually a toilet roll lah. yep just pretty cute so i thought i want to mention it yep so um luggage track over here okay if you need to open up luggage you can bring it out to the main uh, entryway just now where there's a lot of space for you to put your luggage okay and just beside it okay this is um the mini bar area but over here, the concealed part is actually where you find the mini fridge. Okay, you can open up. It's actually stocked with items, uh, with drinks. But of course, these are chargeable. I'll show you the prices later on. And above it, um, you can find the kettle and so some tea bags. So the tea bag that they provide actually is um, from TWG. Okay. And uh, bottled waters here as well. So these are glass bottles. Sustainability. And right beside it is where um, the mini bar continue. Okay, um, what they call this um, W Mix Bar. Okay, and the price is right over here on top. Okay, including for the drinks as well. Okay, and uh, here you find the uh, food items. So, they have their own um, brand, so-called branded ones. Lah. Okay. Pretty cute packaging, I'd say. And also an espresso machine just beside here. Okay, and also just beside it, um, we saw three post-it notes. Um, they use this like a like a discount coupon kind of thing. So just bring down to the spa maybe or the restaurant, they'll get some credit off. Yeah. And um, opposite um, the mini bar area is the whole king size bed. So I think W Bangkok, something special about them is that they have this signature boxing glove kind of thing. So yeah, it's pretty cute. You can wear both and you know post a picture or fight with your friend. Yeah. It's pretty cute. So on the both side of the bed is the bedside table. Okay, and the telephone here, and also some complimentary mentors. Uh, okay, they actually have a tablet here as well. I think for you to control the lights and, and whatnot. Okay, we have not yet tried. Um, but you can also control the icon, I think. 
set alarm and all that. Okay, and the lamp over here. Both sides would actually have um, the power point, but this side is not utilized. On the other side, because there's actually speaker over here, you see, there's actually an alarm clock as well as a speaker. So um, this one has been utilized for the power point. Okay, and also over this side here, there's also um, uh, the switches for the light. So over, side, over that side, it's actually the tablet, but here it's a physical switch. And right beside the bed where I'm sitting here now, it's like a lounge area, the living room kind of space, because it's not really segregated, it's just a section of the room. Yeah, it's just here. It's like a sofa seat kind of thing. Uh, can sit maybe about four people, five, I would say. Yeah, um, there's no proper dining table. It's just coffee table over here. So if you want to eat, maybe this is not so ideal. Yep. And uh, of course, in front of the, sorry, beside the sofa area, this is where the work desk area is. If you need to do some work, you can do over here, overlooking the Bangkok city. Yeah, actually quite nice view, I would say. It's on so-called unblocked because the window is actually the whole thing. Yeah, almost to the floor. Lah. Okay, and also amenities um, if you need. First time I actually see, right, hotel provide scotch tape. Yeah, I don't know why, but yeah. Okay, and um, they also provide um, simple, um, like, because of COVID, right, so they actually provide mask as well as sanitizer, small one. Okay, I think it's good enough for your stay lah. Okay, so beside it, over here is actually the um, TV. I think it's about 40 inch, 50 inch, I'm not sure. Okay, it comes with a soundbar right below. Uh, this is LG TV, below soundbar is actually from Sony. And um, the angle to the bed is actually a bit weird, but you can just swivel it. Okay, so if you're on the bed, you can swivel to the angle you want. If you want it uh, so far, you can just swivel it right back. Okay, and if you need to connect uh, your device to the TV, you have to do it directly. There's no outlet over there. Okay, but there's power point for you to charge your devices. Okay, so this is the main uh, bedroom, living room area. So moving on, we'll check out the toilet. Okay, um, so this whole floor is actually carpeted, except for the toilet part. So the entryway, this is basically the entryway to the toilet. There's no door, so not much of a privacy, except for one door, which is the WC area. Okay. This is a WC area, simple. There's nothing fanciful about it. It comes with a bidet, not automatic, and there's no heated seat as well. Okay, just right beside it. So this is where the main um, bathroom toilet is. Okay, um, over here is a vanity area. Here, you can find the uh, amenities. So they're actually very nicely packed, like a foil kind of thing. Okay, so if you need toothbrush and all that, it's all here. Okay. And just beside it is the double vanity. So you don't have to fight, you can just use, you know, your, your own one. And uh, if you need hair dryer, it's over here. But the power point is right at the other side. Right below here, you find a power point. Okay, and towels is all here. Okay, and if you need um, wing scale, it's right beso be like, uh, beside the power point as well. Okay, so this whole area is so-called dry area. Okay, moving forward, further in, this is the main wet area where you take shower, there's rain shower here, hand out shower, okay, and also there are amenities here, they use Momo, I think it's the same as the Singapore Sedosa one. We also have a, a packed lufa over here if you need more bubbles, scrub your bag, you know. And right beside it, this whole wet area, the main highlight, I would say, is this bathtub. So this bathtub also overlooks the city as well. So you can soak and also um, look out the window to check out the city skyline and also people uh, maybe, I don't know, car driving past. Yeah, so bathroom over here. So that's about it for the room tour. This is um, once again the studio suite, 64 square meters. Um, we're going to show you more of the hotel facility like the wet, which is the pool, the feet, which is the gym and also breakfast. Yeah, so stay tuned. W Bangkok has a beautiful pool terrace with an oval-shaped pool and lounge spaces surrounding it. The pool is fairly large and you can get a good swim here. A bar is also available and you can enjoy your drinks and snacks by the pool. The hotel has a fitness centre which is well equipped for strength training as well as cardio equipment. 
Good morning. So we're now at the kitchen table, which is located on the second floor of the hotel, and we're here for breakfast. So the breakfast is a mixture of a fish bread as well as an all-you-can-eat a la carte option. Right, so basically when you first sit down, they'll give you this menu, like this, and you can actually have a look inside. There are some food items, beverage options that you can choose from. So we first got the beverages. There are all kinds of beverages like the coffee, tea, and also something that's quite interesting. It looks like the, like a, the signature coca, coca latte. I think the chocolate based latte and um, so these are the beverages there are also freshly squeezed juice which you can choose from watermelon orange apple and uh, also they do have other uh, chilled beverages that are not fresh that's available as well so let's uh, move on to talk a little bit about the food items so let's go through this menu first these are the more i would say um they say make it special so the first one that we have here is the mediterranean mediterranean scrambled eggs over here which looks pretty good I'm not so sure how it's going to taste like later we'll give it a shot other egg options would also include like this one here which is the salmon omelette looks really good basically it's an omelette and then salmon inside if you want other kinds of egg options they also do have it available boiled egg scrambled eggs um, sunny side up it's also available half boiled egg also available and there's also the uh, option to go for, in this case, a salad option. This is the pumpkin salad with the uh, Greek salad also. I think it's just a uh, lettuce. Right, so let's move on and talk about, um, there's a noodle station that's available. This is the, the noodle for today. And this is a chicken broth and you can add in things like a fish cake, a shrimp, uh, dump wonton that's available. I believe that the menu changes on a day-to-day -day basis. You can opt to have this uh, bowl of shawamushi, which does look really good. Steamed eggs, can't go wrong with that. And this is the kimchi porridge, uh, kimchi chicken porridge. Something a bit different here. Yeah? I actually don't see much of the Thai options. I think there are, there are some noodles, but uh, they are quite limited. Most of the selections are really quite Western. Alright, so at the end, we can choose to have pastries. Again, there are lots of pastries on this plate. We can start off with some custard buns, muffins, I believe some, some Danish pastry, and a chocolate croissant here. There are also other kinds of pows, like the uh, red bean pow, and also, I believe there was a chicken pow that's available. There's also siu mai that's available. There's basically lots of things that you can actually choose in the buffet line, right? So, um, finally, the last two things I want to talk about, this French toast over here this is a, a special order you can actually order it from off the menu it does look really great together with the um, syrup at the side there are selections of like yogurt and in this case the overnight oatmeal which is my favorite so yeah that's it for the breakfast i mean that's not it for the breakfast but there are lots of other things available for breakfast and this is just what we can eat for now. So we're going to dig in and I'm going to see you later when we summarize the video. Bye. Alright, so we're just about to check out and let's give a quick summary about our stay at W Bangkok. So first of all, let's talk about location. How did you find the location? Um, I find it so-so, reason being, even though it's near BTS station, maybe like um, five minutes walk away, less than that. So there's two BTS stations, Chonong Si and also San Luis, I think. Yeah. yeah. So it's quite near. But it's just that um, there isn't really much for option. I think the nearest um, is probably like uh, McDonald's. McDonald's, yeah. yeah near the Chonong Si station. Yeah. So other than that, not really fantastic. Yeah. So, well, we, the hotel is actually pretty nice. I think the common areas are very nice. There's a w, typical W vibes. And we actually stayed in a studio suite, which is a very spacious 64 square meters uh, room. And there isn't a separate living space, but there is an expanded bedroom area where there is a sofa, as well as a, a big study desk, which you can double up as a dining table as mm. well. So, how do you find the room? The room, I think, is nice. Um, especially the toilet part. So I like it where it's you know very spacious, um, especially the wet area part. Yeah. yeah. But then again, um, there's no privacy. Like there's no door, you know, except for the WC area. So yeah. just think about that. Yeah. Um, but I I find that the um, it's not very modern like, in terms of not very luxurious feel. You know, there's no like marble tiles like other W hotels have. 
it's a very uh, simple uh, concrete kind of tiles mm. so yeah it doesn't give that you know like luxurious feel but it does give the w vibe the typical w vibe that you expect all right so we can move on and talk about the facilities and as you can see we're actually at the pool deck and the pool is behind us so the pool actually isn't very big right how do you find it uh, well, it's just really for you to come here, relax, chill, you know, nothing fancy food, you know, like um, swim laps or what. No, it's just really just to chill out here. Yeah, mm. and uh, you can enjoy drinks and a snack by the pool if you like. Actually pretty relaxing. And it's pretty and windy actually. It's very windy, mm. I can see the camera shaking. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, so there is also a 24 hours fitness center here. The, the pool is until, so actually the pool is all 24, 24 hours, hours, right? Yeah, and um, the fitness center is also 24 hours, so you can you can put, put in a good workout whether it's day or night, which is great. And we can move on and talk about the breakfast. We had the breakfast at the kitchen table. The spread is very, very large. There is a full buffet as well as an a la carte menu where you can choose um, items from, right? Mm. So, do you like the breakfast? I think to me it's okay. Um, the spread is fine, um, but the taste wise is um, just slightly above average, I guess. Yeah. Yep. But um, the thing about they have this um, special menu, something like that, right? So some special items like certain kind of eggs or certain kind of um, drinks. So um, I we tried the chawmushi. It's there's some items on the chawmushi that I feel is not necessary. Yeah, because I to me chawmushi is really very smooth, very nice. But they added some stuff and then make it um, not so smooth anymore. Yeah. Well, I like I like the breakfast. There's a lot of things you can choose from. Whether you whatever your dietary restriction, there's lots of things that you can choose from. Yeah. And but I like their drink, that that espresso uh, cocoa latte. Yeah, yeah, that's very nice. Yeah. So that's all the time that we have for this video. Mm. And we hope that you enjoy this video. Um, if you have stayed in W Bangkok before, you want to share your experience, you can put it in the comment section below. And uh, I think if you haven't subscribed to our channel, you can also consider doing so also just below. Yeah. We have other videos like these over there on your right hand side. Do check them out. We have also other Bangkok hotel reviews that we have actually stayed. So if not, we will see you in the next video. Bye! Bye.